Assalamu alaikum. We're going to read chapter 44 tonight, and we're going to cover 30 verses, inshallah. And let's see. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Very good. Um, the smoke, and as I said, about 59 verses total, and so we're going to read 30 of them tonight, so half. Okay. Again, I will be glad in the shaitan al-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim um, Please go ahead, Manda. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Amen. share your screen, please? I'm sorry. Yes, I will do that. Yes, I forgot. Thank you for reminding me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, screen. Continue. Okay, very good. Okay, now we're in business, I think. So let's go back again. Okay, so... um, Okay, very good. The smoke, and that's chapter 44. Okay, please go ahead, Mark. Did you hear it? Uh-huh. Yes. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. ha and the proven scripture. We surely revealed it during a blessed night. We indeed dispatch warners. In it, every wise command has been detailed. It is a command from us. Indeed, we dispatch messengers. It is a mercy from your Lord. Indeed, he is the all-hearer, the all-knower the Lord of the vacua and matter and everything between them, if you have attained certainty. There is no God except he. He grants life and death. He is your Lord and the Lord of your ancestors. However, they are full of doubt, playful. Therefore, be on the watch for the day when the sky brings forth a tremendous smoke. It will envelop the people. This will be a painful suffering. Our Lord, remove the adversity from us. Now we are indeed believers. Only now do they take heed, despite the fact that a proven messenger did come to them. But they turned away from him and said, He is knowledgeable but crazy. We will indeed remove the adversity a little, but you will surely revert. The day we deliver the great blow, we shall certainly avenge. And we surely tested before them the people of Pharaoh when an honorable messenger came to them, saying, Let God's servants go with me. I am indeed an honest messenger to you. And do not be arrogant toward God. I indeed come to you with a profound authority. I have indeed sought refuge in my Lord and your Lord, lest you stone me. If you do not believe me, at least leave me alone. He then called upon his Lord, saying, These are indeed guilty people. Therefore, travel with my servants by night. You will surely be pursued. Cross the sea leisurely, for indeed they are an army to be drowned. 
They left behind many gardens with flowing rivers and crops and an honorable position, as well as blessings which they enjoyed. It was so decreed, and we made other people inheritors. And neither the vacuum nor matter wept for them, and they were never given a respite. And we indeed delivered the children of Israel from the humiliating punishment of Pharaoh. He was surely arrogant, a transgressor. And we indeed chose them with full knowledge over all the people and gave them signs wherein there was a proven test. And it, indeed, here they are saying, we only die once and we will never be resurrected. Then bring our ancestors if you are truthful. Are they better than the people of Tuba and those before them? We destroyed them because they were guilty. And we did not create the vacua and matter and everything between them just to play. We did not create them except with the truth, but most of them do not know. Indeed, the day of judgment is promised to all of them. The day when no friend can help a friend in the least, nor can they receive any help. Exempted are those whom God showered with his mercy. He is surely the Almighty, the All-Merciful. Surely the tree of bitterness will be the food for the sinners. Like lava, it will boil in their bellies, like the boiling of hellish liquid. Take him and throw him into the midst of the inferno. Then pour upon his head an agonizing hellish liquid. Taste it. Ye used to be truly mighty and honorable. Indeed, this is what you used to doubt. Indeed, the righteous will have a secure position in paradises with ever-flowing rivers. They will wear silk and brocade. They will be neighbors. It is so decreed. And we will join them with beautiful spouses Therein they may wish for every kind of fruit in perfect security. They will never taste death therein except the first death. And we have spared them the agony of the inferno. Generosity from your Lord, that is the greatest victory. We made it easy in your tongue that they may take heed. Therefore, watch them. Indeed, they are watching too. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I just decided to go to the end because the verses are very short. So, so I think that would be better. Okay. Um, okay. Are there any questions, any comments, any observations on the chapter? And so we have seen we have seen some of the signs that are associated with this particular chapter in the Quran and how it is actually is generated from uh, six nineteen and uh, and so which is the hundred fourteenth prime number and uh, so uh, and how this this chapter actually is generated nine one two seven and uh, so it's it's a, it's a uh, uh, absolutely mind-boggling system that God has created here, but you know here it says in the second it says the Hamim and then and the proven scripture. Okay, so this this the scripture that we are reading every week is a proven scripture. And it says we surely revealed it during the a blessed night, 
We indeed dispatch war nurse. This is God's system. We cannot fight God's system. God sends war nurse to warn people about the hereafter, to warn people of what's going to happen to them if they do this, this or the, if they disobey God's commandments. And this is not this is not the job. Uh, in it, every wise command has been detailed. So we see everything that we need in the Quran. And it is a command from us indeed with dispatch messengers. This is God's system again. God is not going to change his system because some people say, oh no, he's not going to send messengers or this and that, the others. Okay, so all kinds of excuses. This is God's system. God sends messengers. And God says, it is a mercy from your Lord. The system that God has, this is a mercy from your Lord. He designed this, as I was saying today, that he wants us to get closer to him and remember him. Okay? This is, this is what God wants us to do. He wants us to remember him fondly. Okay? So you remember things that you like. You remember things that you, you love. And you remember those things. And so God wants us to do that with him. We remember him and love him. And we never disobey his orders. And so here, and he says, it is a mercy from the Lord. Indeed, he is the all-hearer, the all-knower. Okay? So God hears us, and God knows all. There is nothing that God doesn't know. So who is who is this God, the Lord of the vacuum and matter and everything between them? If you have attained certainty, you have to realize that we live in God. There's no other place but God. Okay. So there is no God except He. Again, God goes to the first commandment. There's no God except He. He grants life and death. He is your Lord and the Lord of your ancestors. We all have the same Lord, the same, um, the same uh, God. It's not, it's not changing. People have changed it, but it doesn't change. That's their problem. However, they are, they are full of doubt, playful. Think this is a joke. People think this is a joke. But this is very serious business. And that's what the ones are supposed to do. They're supposed to warn people. Okay? Any questions? Salam, Dr. Fadli. Wa alaikum salam. Yes, go ahead, please. Uh, uh, is the, uh, the rush, uh, there, yeah. number, rush number two? I'm, I'm sorry, you have to speak a little bit louder. I uh, cannot hear. Okay. Do you hear me better now? Yeah, I can hear you better now, yes. All right. So actually it's verse number three. We should uh-huh. have built it during a blessed night. Uh, we uh-huh, blessed night, that. yes. You're right. So, so uh, the, the scripture, if by the scripture it's, it's the Quran here, so that means here about um, revealed uh, to to the prophet or the messenger in his heart, not like because uh, we know that the scripture has been revealed during twenty or twenty three years, something like that, um, and every time. So this this one night is actually in, in his soul, or or or, or yeah. where is it a blessed That's night, one blessed night? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it goes back to chapter 95, okay, and it's Laylatul Qadr. And then God is saying that, you know, that the entire Quran was revealed in one night to Muhammad's soul, okay? And then that's, that information which was embedded in the soul, uh, it was revealed to his mouth in, in a period of 23 years, over a period of 23 years. And he said that we did it like this, Okay, in order to fix it in your memory. Okay, although it was it was all revealed at once. 
So there was a mechanism for this. Because through, through the Holy Spirit, this was revealed little by little according to the revelation of the Quran. And only Muhammad knew how to compile it. So with those instructions, he had put everything in the place. So the first surah that was supposed to be in position 96 and had 19 verses, that was supposed to be the first surah mm-hmm. that was revealed. But in the compilation version, it's 96, and only, only Muhammad had that, that information that God gave him. Okay? And today we see why. Okay? Right. Right. So, 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 so for the messenger himself, was he aware or not of this one night, or, or is it only through all these years that it, it got revealed to him? Yeah. Or is it just, just like uh, revealed to, in the creation, yeah. I mean, the universe, but then I'm just trying to understand the mechanism of for the person or the messenger, was he... Did he know and then, uh, I don't know whether physically he could not reveal it and only in, in few, how can I say, in, uh, in, in part, uh, or, or, um, but it's, it's not, I mean, that important, but I was just curious to see him, the messenger. Yeah. 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 And, um, no, he was aware of it. He was aware of it. Okay. He was aware of it, and he was he was supposed to do it in that in that sequence, and that's what he did. But he was also aware of that that sequence was has a different compilation version, and and God informed him how to do that. Mm. Okay, and we know that that's a mathematically coded right now. Okay, so we know that that's that's how we're supposed to do, and how it's supposed to have been, and so today we have this one on, and the rest is history, as they say. Okay. The conversation uh, from the um, the verse twelve to basically uh-huh. um, verse fifteen is this yes. in life or in it, it or or in the hereafter? I'm just a little bit. Um, it's not that clear whether this is taking place in this life or yeah. or is it in the hereafter? No, this is in this world. It says, you know, you got to go back to verse uh, 10, okay? It says, therefore, be on the watch for the day when the sky brings, brings forth a tremendous smoke. It will envelop, in, envelop the people. This will be a painful suffering. Our Lord removed this adversity from us. Now we are indeed believers. Only now do they take heed despite the fact that the proven messenger did come to them, but they turned away uh, from him and said, he is knowledgeable, knowledgeable but crazy. We indeed, we will indeed remove the adversity a little, but you will surely revert. So they go back again to the thing. And then he says, the day that we deliver the great blow, we shall certainly avenge. So this 16 is the day of resurrection. Okay. So, so the, the, rest of them are all in this world. the smoke is not one of uh, no. the signs for the the day of resurrection or the end of this this world. No, no, oh. it's not. No, no. And um, yeah. and the smoke is a smoke. You, your understanding of it is just a smoke, and it's not. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. mean anything. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't know when it's going to happen or what happened or, you know, but it's going to happen and it's going to be a painful uh, event. event. Mm-hmm. And so then, you know, God will relieve the adversity, but they again go back to the same thing. So people never learn. So the okay? smoke is a sign to, uh, to some people assign in this life to some people to redeem themselves um, and God gives yeah. them another basically chance but yet yes. he knows in advance that they're going to revert yeah. which is frightening yes. by the way. Uh, yeah it is frightening yes. so, and, and this is because they are saying we are believers so this is among mm-hmm. the believers we're not talking about yeah. someone who does not believe at all in, in God yeah. so it's, it's really yeah, 
a little bit uh, frightening. But thank you, Dr. Fadli. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, if you read the Quran carefully, I mean, you see that that entire uh, message of the Quran is that look at the previous generation, see what they did and what God did to them. Okay? God said they annihilated some of them and they, they, you know, they had all these plagues and everything and people of the people of Pharaoh, they have all kinds of signs that were actually very painful to them, okay? And, you know, the lice and, and, and the uh, 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 frogs and everything that they had, they were, you know, these are biblical type of, you know, disasters that comes upon them. But, you know, they, they didn't learn. They basically said no. At the end, they were not, they were not taking heed, and that's the problem. So this is, this is another example of that. That God shows them a sign, and then they, they again they reject it, okay. and they yeah. go back to their own lifestyle that they had before. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Doctor Fazli, the verse fifty-six. Um, that's basically the verse that confirms the true believers. They die only. I mean, they go only for, uh, through one death. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. That, exactly. That, that's the verse. Okay. Thank you. Exactly. That's right. Okay, very good. Are there any other comments or questions, observations? Anything else? Salam, Dr. Fazli. Alaikum salam, Shakira. Yes, go ahead, please. I just wanted to, I, I know we we talked about this before, but I just wanted to bring our attention back to it. That is Surah 44, verse 29. I think this is of great importance to us because we understand from this that the collective conscience is in, in a state of... Yeah, it's in a state of existence we don't understand, but that state of existence, mm -hmm. actually they are understanding and looking and, and, and knowing exactly what the human beings are doing. They understand all of the stuff that we are doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so we, need to, we need to be able to respect, respect all vacuum matter. Yep. And understand that we think that they are dead because we don't have any, you know, we are totally ignorant of it and we don't understand yep. And yep. the reality is that this is, I, I think to me, we abuse this the most. We really abuse vacuum and matter in all ways. Yeah. I mean, you know, if we are surrounded by these things and, and you know, and God is warning us about this, that there are witnesses, okay? Yeah. There are watchers watching you, okay? And so... This is to, to basically spare us the embarrassment of the day of judgment, okay? Yeah. And, you know, verse 25, verse, I'm sorry, so chapter 25, verse 70, it's, it's so, you know, God is so merciful that he changes yeah. these people's past, okay, not to yeah. embarrass them on the day of judgment, okay? Somehow the entire bad things that they have done is going to change into credit. Can you imagine that? Just because they say we repent? Okay. Yes. And this is amazing. But, you know, this part, this part that God says they did not, they didn't wait, wait for them, okay? And so this is, this is amazing that this collective consciousness that we were talking about for the past year or so, it's, it's absolutely mind-boggling, and it shows us that how careful we're supposed to be for what we are doing, okay? God forgives. You do that in front of God. You do that, that sin, you commit that sin right in front of God, okay? And, but you know, and then, but there are other witnesses around too. And those witnesses, God says, you know, these are the, the, the guardians of hell. These are stern guardians that they do exactly what they're supposed to do. There is no mercy or anything on their part, Okay? But God, God is merciful, and he forgives all of these things. He changed these people's past in order to not to embarrass them on the day of judgment. And this, this, is, this is part of that. This is part of that kind of 
ideology that the Quran is actually transmitting to us. That, you know, we are privileged to actually understand this and, and enjoy it. Okay? And uh, this, is, this is beyond imagination. Yes. Can I ask another question? Yeah, yeah, please. So when you, uh, this is about the, the Juma that you did. Uh-huh. It is so, uh, I mean, it makes, it makes, if you really truly understand it, not changing your life becomes really the wrong thing, evil actually. Because you said that you are not going to, you said that all these things that you told us, that you are telling us a story. And the story, story is about the history in the yeah. language of yeah. number, right? Yeah. So basically, this is the language of numbers that we are reading in the Quran, about the Quran. But the fact is that every single one of us has a history that's being mathematically composed as we live our lives. And I, is that right? Because I'm thinking... That's exactly can true. It that's exactly that I'm, true. Yeah. No, that, you're absolutely right. But the point about that whole thing is that I didn't mention today in the, in the Jonah prayers, and I'm going to say it now that it makes the Quran absolutely language independent. Yes, exactly. Those numbers are speaking to everybody, regardless of their language. And then we went through this nonsense again. Learn Arabic. Do this. Do this. That's why I put in there that this is not a conference to admire the, you know, the final aspect of the, you know, the, the uh, intricacy of the Arabic language, okay? Because these numbers are universal. You can actually, yeah. you can actually present this to somebody from some galaxy or something, and they are going to understand it without even knowing your language, okay? Exactly. This, this, this is beyond our imagination, and people are fleeing this. They are running away. They are literally running away from this. They don't want to learn it. They don't want to hear it. Okay? We just had a, just, a history right in front of us today, okay, with those numbers. Yes. But, but also the fact is that we are making our own history, connecting each other with being connected to each other with history, just like Muhammad connected with Jesus, just like yeah. Adam connected, just like all of this. I mean, all of yeah. them are interconnected yeah. with numbers. So I am being yeah. connected to everybody that I know with mathematics. It could be good, it could yeah. be bad. It's balanced, it could yeah. be unbalanced. I am failing yeah. completely or might be passing yeah. somewhat. I don't yeah. even know. All these things that I'm doing without thinking, thoughtlessly, making mistakes, not being good to the collective conscience, not, not understanding what in reality I have got myself into by telling God that I'm going to choose. Yeah, yeah. Well, unfortunately, some people choose wisely. I mean, unfortunately, some people choose wisely and some people choose very poorly. And the outcome yeah. is going to be really either very good for some and very bad for the others. Okay? And, but, you know, yes. that's how we are. It's very unfortunate. That's how we are. That's how humans are. And you just read that God sent messengers. I mean, that's yeah. a simple, significant truth. It's a fact. That's... But here it is, there is one messenger that I know about that, I mean, it seems to me like there should be millions, a billion people coming to listen to all of this. And here we are being able, capable of discussing like this. I'm thinking, how is it possible that I can sit here in this place with 8 billion people and I'm capable, I am actually giving, given the advantage that I can talk to a messenger, ask yeah. questions. Yeah. Oh. It's a huge blessing. Yeah, huge, absolutely huge. That's what God says here. Okay, we just read it. Okay, He says it's a blessing from God. Okay, it's a mercy from God. That's what He says. Okay, He just read it. He yeah. says, you know, uh, it says, okay, uh, 
command from is leave with the slash messengers. It is a mercy from your Lord, period. The system that God has is a mercy from him. Okay? Yes. Because messengers have certain information that the rest of the people don't have it. Okay? Yes. And, and God says that he explains the, the scripture for you. He tells you that. Okay? So we are explaining this, the scripture. Okay? And it is amazing. Okay? And if you, if you, you know, if you look at these numbers that we're discussing today, this is beyond imagination. This is beyond the wildest imagination somebody could have. But it's there, okay? And as I said, some of these stuff, as I, you know, I was trying to say to a lot of people, that I still cannot do all of the indices versus different prime numbers or indices or other numbers have properties. I can't do that. It's beyond my thing. Some of those large numbers, I, I can't do it because you have to run a program on the computer for several months to get to those numbers, okay? Yeah. That's how, how you know, how uh, outrageous these things are as far as the computer, uh, you know, incapability, not capability, incapability of reproducing these things. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Fazli. Thank we are you. very blessed. Thank you. Yeah, we are really, blessed absolutely. Have you. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so yes. let's see. Any other comments or questions or observations? Dr. Dr. Fazli, Jared? Yes. I'm the largest one to piggyback off of Shakira, Shakira and um, the fact that um, I was made some notes on Surah 44, 3 and 5, where it said that um, the. Um, um, we surely revealed it during a blessed night. We indeed dispatch warners. It is a command from us. Indeed, we dispatch messengers. And just a, such a humble delight that you provide us with such, and the Quran provides us with such clarification when you look around the world we live in and there's so many pastors and bishops and evangelists out there calling themselves messengers. But what message are they delivering? And then the Quran provides the mathematical composition that just Absolutely mind-boggling. So I just wanted to say, alhamdulillah, I'm so glad to be a part of um, this connection. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, we're all blessed to be a part of this. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Any other comments or questions or observations? Assalamu alaikum, brother. Assalamu Mahmoud. Yes, go ahead, please. And verse 2 uh, is uh, the word used for the scripture of the Al Kitab as uh, Al Mubin, proven. Yep. Yep. And, yep. and the same word is used for the messenger as well in verse 12, I believe. Is it 12? Can you scroll down? Sure. Yeah. Yes, thirteen actually. Only now do they take heed that oh, by the okay. fact a, a proven messenger did come to them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that, so I was looking at the, you know the word for yeah, them, exactly. for the scripture, yeah. and for the messenger. And and uh, there's also another word that is used for the messenger and for the Quran, and that is called, is that's also the attribute Kareem. If you, yep. in, we, we see that in 44.17, it is Kareem, Rasulun yep. Kareem. Honorable it, messenger, yes. Uh -huh. yes. And we see that other Kareem for the Quran in 56.77, inshallah, we will get a month from now or so. But well, that's in fifty six seventy seven as well. And, and and you can see that, you know, if you truly follow the scripture you, you will not have any problem with the message. And you know you, you should not be having any problem. If you follow the scripture and you know and you believe the scripture and it's a proven fact. There is no reason that you say I don't believe such and such is another message. Why? What is the reason? You know, yeah. what do you expect the messenger to bring or to be? 
Yeah. Well, my friends, look look at this, okay? I talked about this so many times, okay? But look at this. Okay, mm. this is, let's see. Okay. Look at this, 1343, okay? This chapter is the very last chapter, the very last initial chapter was revealed, chapter 13. 96 in order of revelation, okay? Mm. And, you know, in the, in the conference, we haven't even gotten that far yet, Okay. And look what they are saying. And the unfaithful say, you are not a messenger. Say, God suffices a witness between me and you and those who possess knowledge of the scripture. Okay? Mm-hmm. Today we have done knowledge of the scripture. We know that Muhammad was God's messenger. Okay? What I showed today actually testifies to that. Those numbers were speaking to us today. Okay? And this is towards the, towards the end of his mission. And they are still doing this to him. They're still tormenting the man. Okay? So it never goes away. It's basically, history keeps repeating itself. And it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. It will continue like that until the end. Yeah, it's, continue. it's going to continue. It's not going, it's not going to change. Mm-hmm. See? Yeah. This whole thing is not going to change. And these numbers that here are speaking volumes of what's going on. Okay? I mean, if you look at that, 14, 1748, okay, 1748 is actually 19 times 92. 92 is the value of the word Muhammad, mathematical value, numerical value of the word Muhammad. And this so is talking about Muhammad. Look at that other number there, okay? 729 frequency of the word God in the order of Revelation. 1700, I'm sorry, 729 um, prime number is 5519. And 5519 is the index of 6346. So God is talking about the Quran. Okay? Including the unnumbered Bismillahs. Okay? This is amazing. I mean, these numbers are speaking to us. All of these numbers are speaking to us. It's, it bothers me. Revealing, the revealing right? in, in, in one night. Uh, and yeah. By the yeah. way, that's uh, yeah. chapter 97. You know. That's right, exactly. Not, not 95, said 90, right. 97. 97. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. 97. Thank you for correcting me. Yes. Mm. yes. And, and uh, you know, one, may I ask a question regarding the Abram in Chapter 2 in the conference last week? And it's only in yeah. Chapter 2, uh, the spell yeah, of Abram. Two. Only Chapter 2, exactly, yeah. What I found today actually is in Genesis 17 and 18. Uh, you know, people yeah. can look at that. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it's there. So the name was changed from Abram to Abraham. Exactly. Say. Exactly. Yeah. But, but yeah. you know, just the awesomeness of the Quran, how, how the accuracy of the Quran, you know, that, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't make that mistake, for example. Yeah. You know, when he was building the foundation, as he was, was told in Genesis, uh, yeah. You know, uh, carry on the message, and you be a great nation, and your name is changed yeah. from Abraham to Abraham. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Nice that. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Okay. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Um, Any other questions, comments, observations? Any, any discussions? Dr. Fadley, Jerry again? Yes, Jerry, go ahead, please. Another quick note on just how unbelievably magnificent this message is in the Quran, the mathematics, once you really pay attention, and that it's the, the job of a messenger as far as these bishops and pastors, I think that is the most, one of the most inconsequential jobs ever in life to lead people and to have people listen to what you're saying and to not have the, 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 the backing of it. It's just this, this world we're living in is crazy. So this mathematics, this Quran, the, 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 the composition of mathematics and the, and the text is just unreal, unbelievable, and it is, uh, it is mind-boggling and humbling. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. 
Okay, anything else? Any other comments? Any other observations? Any questions? Salam, Dr. Fasli. Welcome, Salam, Maryam. Yes, go ahead, please. Um, I just wanted to add to uh, what Brother Mahmoud uh, just said uh, regarding Nabi. Yes. Uh, so, God describes also this smoke as to be Mubin and uh, his yes. authority as Mubin and the test yes. uh, in, in the same chapter uh, what we just read and also the mm-hmm. test mm-hmm. Is, is Mubin. So, yes. it's like the emphasis is about a very like a obvious or clear or confirmed or proven. Exactly, exactly. That's or right. This, yeah. this, this seems, it, it's amazing how, I mean, yeah. <laughs> God help us even to focus on what we need to focus on when we, we read a verse, uh, I mean a chapter. Um, that's, that's all I just wanted to uh, mention this. Yeah, thing. very good, yes. Thank yes. You. Thank you. Any other comments, any other observations, any, anything else that wants, somebody wants to bring up? Um. Salam, Dr. Fazli. Alaikum salam, Shakira, yes. You know, that was the reason why they always called him a poet, because it is so beautifully written. They called Muhammad the poet, I- right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, there were all kinds of things. We just read it last week, okay, that, you know, that if he was a prominent member of the two communities, okay, who would have believed? There was always, there is always an excuse there, okay? So God sent all kinds of messengers and all kinds of prophets, okay? Good-looking ones like Joseph, okay, and, and you know, sick ones like Job, and and poor one like you know like uh, I don't know who the guy that was swallowed by the fish in Jonah, <coughs> all of these different types of messengers, different kinds of messengers, and everybody they had an excuse. And Solomon obviously, they they had an excuse not to obey it. They actually say you know about Saleh, what made you you know follow Saleh? They said we believed in the message that he brought. That's what they were interested in, not to idolize the messenger. Because there are some people who do that. Some people idolize the messenger. They forget about the message. The message is the important thing. And that message is actually is designed to glorify God. And that's what I was talking about today. Okay? That, that historical narration that those numbers have today, connecting Jesus and Adam to, to, uh, to Muhammad, and, and the scriptures are coming one after the other. And it tells us that between Jesus and Muhammad, there are no scriptures. It's in Jeel and the Quran as God stresses in the, in the Quran. Okay? And so then we see that, that how those numbers are actually talking to us. And that's the awesomeness of the Quran. That's the awesomeness of this mathematics that actually generated this book for us. And there was no other way. It could not have been any other way. had to be that way. And we just read it, okay? We said it, okay, that we did not, we did not, um, let me find it, okay? Um, called upon the Lord saying that we indeed guilty people, okay? Uh, and it says cross, okay, let me just see here. <coughs> there we go. Okay. There it is, okay? It says, it says right here, we did not create the vacuum and matter and everything between them just to play. God does not play dice with the universe, okay? We did not create them except with the truth. So it was supposed to be exactly like that. It cannot be anything else. That's why you keep bumping to this 9127 over and over and over again. But that 9127 also coincides with 4738. 
that 9127 also co coincides with 798. Okay? That's the mathematics that God has used to, to, uh, to uh, author the Quran. And this mathematics, as I'm just saying, that those numbers are talking to us in the language of mathematics. And that's the beauty of it, which is completely language independent. It doesn't matter what language you speak. Yes. Hello. I said thank you. Oh, oh, you're thank welcome. You. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. You're welcome. Okay, very good. You're welcome. Um, okay. Salam alaikum, Dr. Fazi. Welcome, salam. Yes. Yes. Uh, I, I just wanted to share something. Um, yesterday yes, I was out. I, I was out yesterday, and um, in the city, you know, people beg all the time. So there was a lady down mm -hmm. sitting on the ground, and I had bought something from one of the vendors. I had five dollars left, and um, uh -huh. I handed it to her, and she was very happy. And my friend said, "No, no, no," and I just looked at her strange and. Uh, we were walking across the street, and she says, um, why'd you give it to her? And I said, look how she was eating the food that someone gave her. She was starving. Yeah. And she yeah. said, yeah, when she finishes the food, she's going to take that $5 and buy crack. And so I kind of shrugged my shoulders. I said, well, what can I do? She said, well, aren't you going to, you're going to feel bad. I said, if she dies, that's between her and her Lord. But it bothered me all night, and then... You're the, the, the Juma, you said, and then you can give the, your charities, and even if you just give $5, it's, um, it can't even buy McDonald's. And I'm thinking, God, I started looking around like, is he watching? And then I'm saying, God is always watching. He's always teaching and answering. After praying all night that the lady that didn't die of the, from the $5, that God had to say that, and... It just lets me know God is watching every little thing and he's everywhere of course, of at course. all times. And it's just a reinforcement. I I almost couldn't breathe. You know, it was just, it was just a lot. And um, yeah, I, yeah. Just, I just love God, you know. And just I, I'm sure that nobody's going to sell cracks for $5 either. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. It's a lot more expensive than that, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he made you say yeah, that yeah. McDonald's wasn't, yeah. you can't get McDonald's for $5, so it no. was that kind to me. No. Hey, no, she can't do anything, but, you know, stop no. walking. Just do what God tells you to do, you know. And then, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Sir. Thank you. Okay, very good. Uh, okay, if there are no more questions, let's finish for tonight, okay, and then we'll we'll hear from you, inshallah, next week, okay? So let's do that, and, and then we have.